Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. It's time to get motivated. One of the things that I like to put in my body is what they call kefir. And uh, it's a fermented uh, culture. Uh, something I honestly don't know what it is, but it uh, takes milk and um, it removes all the lactose and it gets filled with bacteria. And uh, I like to fill my body with really good bacteria. And kefir is one of the best types of bacteria. Get them in these jars and you know, they last about a week or so uh, before they get a little manky and they freak people out. And that's probably why a lot of people don't like kefir. But yeah, um, I drink kefir daily and uh, it's very good for that gut brain relationship. It helps with digestion. It does a lot of really, really good things. And uh, I'd highly recommend that you get some kefir in your diet. You can make kefir yourself, you can buy the culture, you put it in milk overnight and I think it's a very specific type of milk and uh, you can ferment overnight, it usually takes I think about 12 hours and you could be making your own stuff. I personally like flavoured kefir which um, I get a lady to make for me and I'll put details down below. There's also my very good friend Razek in Cape Town and he makes kefir which you can buy at thank goodness foods which is you can get from the Oranya Sech market but all around the world you know kefir's actually been drunk for many many years and, you know you can walk into like whole foods or something like that and there's just fridges full of different types of kefir i personally like stuff that is less processed um but i mean i've had while i'm there and it's both delicious and really healthy for you Some of the personal benefits that I've felt is that by eating kefir, I tend to eat less and uh, I managed to lose a dramatic amount of weight, unwanted weight. Um, I have certainly been able to control my anxiety a little bit more. Um, and then I've generally been able to digest food way better than I used to be able to. I always used to eat uh, out and I would always end up with tummy aches. I need to go to the bathroom and things like that. And so yeah, kefir has been a huge contribution to um, getting my general gut health right. And then a good friend of mine would often talk about the gut-brain relationship and uh, I've even watched a really great video about how they did these tests on mice where they the, the mice that they gave kefir to versus the uh, regular mice when put in a stressful situation the mice who had kefir continued um, where the other mice gave up um, so the ability to kind of have the drive to to keep going was much greater and then just to prove that theory and this is quite a horrible thing, I guess, to, to test on animals, but so I don't condone this sort of thing, but it is interesting, is that they then wanted to prove that there was a gut-brain relationship. And in that, they cut the nerve between the gut and the brain. And immediately, once they cut that nerve and they put those mice in the same stressful situation, despite having kefir, immediately uh, those mice gave up. And uh, yeah. It's an interesting kind of thing and I don't understand all of it, but um, I would recommend that you include uh, a really good bacteria from something like kefir in your diet. Other good alternatives are yogurt has a lot of bacteria in. Um, so does things like kombucha, which is a fermented tea, kimchi, which I don't even know what it is because I don't eat stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, I would recommend getting some bacteria and the heavyweight champion from what I understand from everybody is none other than Keith.
to talk about is procrastination. What I consider procrastination is avoiding having to do a bunch of things that are either very big or overwhelming where there's a lot of things to do and you kind of, without realizing it, busy yourself um, to avoid having to get these things done. The simplest thing that I can suggest is that you actually get up off your ass and you just do what you need to do. Some of the things that people can do to avoid um, procrastinating is getting distracted. I think distraction has to be one of the easiest ways to avoid doing what you need to do. Things like sitting on your phone all day, and we're all guilty of this, like especially on social media. Things like sitting in front of the TV. I mean, that's very like an 80s thing where you sit and like hit the control all day. PlayStation has to be like the 90s sin of like people just like lose themselves playing PlayStation all day. Then the other thing is uh, playing like games on your phone, chatting to people. I mean, this is such an old school thing. Like I remember as a teenager spending hours like on the phone chatting um, to friends and girlfriends and things like that. And then as designers, the ultimate thing that we do is we, we're constantly searching for inspiration. And we can spend so much time surfing the internet and we just don't get anywhere and we really just waste a lot of time where what we really should be doing is opening up the design program and just trying some ideas out. Some of the things that I would recommend doing to help you not to pro procrastinate is I guess to figure out what do you need to do and then take that, those, that task or those tasks and break them up and start progressively making little steps forward um, in order to achieve whatever these things are. So you remove distraction, you then have a plan. And I mean, I start with task lists and on those task um, lists, I would break down all the little nuances that I've got to get through. And I try and look at my day, plan ahead and have some sort of a strategy on how I'm actually going to get through this um, the other thing I would do is to give yourself a deadline I mean a lot of things already have deadlines and you can work your way back and then other things you would need to create your own deadlines there's kind of long term things and there's short term things that you can do in the short term things what you need to do is just break it up into these chunks and say to yourself today I'm going to allocate myself an hour or a half hour that I'm gonna focus purely on this specific task. Then you gotta like take that time and really focus. Good ways to focus, I think, are to get into an environment where there's no distraction. Turning off your phone, uh, turning off email. I mean, that's a big problem in, in your day-to-day -day job. Um, you know, is, is get that. Allocate time in your diary, you know, where you say between this time and this time, I'm not going to meetings, I'm going to do this specific task. No social media, no nothing, nothing. I've turned off all notifications on my phone. Um, and I, you know, turn off Wi-Fi and things like that if need be. And I just focus on what I've got to do. And that's truly helped me uh, to not procrastinate as much. Turning on things like a little bit of music, uh, and, and I'm not talking about like gangster rap or metal or anything silly like that. That's going to hyper you and the whole thing. You need to put on some Mozart or um, some very progressive kind of music that picks you up. You know, I remember the days when I used to spend long hours coding and, and things like that. I used to just go and just turn things up just a little bit. Um, at a time where kind of 
you, you, the music is taking you through the momentum, through those times where you might get distracted or whatever, you kind of focus on that and you just go through that journey and progressively get through the work that you need to do. Don't overdo it. That's the thing. Don't go and think, okay, that's that I've got to work myself, you know, for five hours today. That isn't the plan. Now it can happen because when you get in a flow state, music gets you into a flow state, you getting in the habit of completing uh, small tasks gets you in a flow state. Once you're in that state, great. I mean, if you can get through stuff, nobody should be stopping you. But don't burn yourself out because that is quite useless. really great app for productivity is called Forest and what it does is allows you to turn off your phone and while you focus on doing work or studying etc so pretty much what you do is you plant these trees and you you know by setting a certain amount of time the tree will grow in the forest and the moment that you stop um, before the, the dedicated time, the tree actually starts to die. So you've got to keep your forest alive, which means you've got to be productive. And uh, that's a great way not to procrastinate. Probably the best advice I can give is to actually just do the shit and get things done. That's called an attitude. And you need a really great attitude if you want to make it in this world. Stop procrastinating and just get on with it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.